Good morning. Today is March 26th, 2015. <laughs> and it's just a different day, you know. I, I had, let me tell you about my dream last night. So last night I had a dream that me and my sister, um, who, we were in the bed and she was telling me, um, oh, when I, when I grow up, I want to be a fashion designer. No, this is her dream now. You know, I want to be a fashion designer and, you know, I um, want to go out and, you know, travel the world. And me and you are going to have our apartment in the middle of the city. And we're going to be in the middle of all the fun and shopping and drive the luxury cars and live in a loft. And we're going to own the loft and that's not going to be our only place. We're going to have timeshares and splurging and living and doing all these good things or, you know, things that we want to do with our life. And, you know, my dream was always to be a dancer, an entertainer, um, working with cameras or in some type of media. And it didn't happen. In my dream, we were saying the same thing. And I was 40 and she was 37. Versus now. She's 13, getting ready to be 14. And I'm 20, getting ready to be 21. I was like, that's not long. We were still there, you know. We were still here in that moment, you know. And I just know that I'm worth more than what I'm doing. If I don't become who it is that I want to be, then I'll never get to where I, I desire to be. I desire to travel. I want to live comfortably. Money isn't everything to me for some reason. You know, I know money is everybody's motive. Oh, rising, grind, get up, get it. Woo, woo. Money is just like fuel point, you know? Um, you just need it to go around the board one more time in Monopoly. You know, you need a few dollars. You're going to collect $200 every time you start. But money is not really that important to me. Money doesn't make me. It, it, money has attachment to things that make me happy. Like, I can buy things with money. I can buy some happiness. But, you know, that's only temporary. And I'm just. I want something different. I don't want to do this. I want to make my dreams come true because nobody else is going to do them for me. The first thing you have to do is start. That's the first thing. Starting is the hardest part because you can use every excuse in the book. You know, oh, I ain't got no money. Or how I'm going to do this. Or, but you know, Bone Quick Quick and them said, hello, they do not count. Bone Quick Quick and Tyrone are in that situation because they believe what they believe and they thought what they thought. Which lead them to do what they did. Surround yourself around people that you want to be like. Listen to positive things. For every negative thing that you hear, for every one negative thing that you hear, it takes 11 positive reinforcements to get that one negative thought out of your mind. And 80% of the things that we're hearing getting all day is negative. You know, your positivity can only do so much for you. That's why it's important that you have friends that care and or you know are true you know or people that just want to that want to do the same thing that you want to do or being where you want to go or going where you want to be you know so y'all can carpool in life you know lean on each other hey you know we trying to get here you know um let's figure this out together you know y'all can use each other to get to where it is 
what y'all want to be. I, um, I'm cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is just the beginning. I'm making a video blog. I'm Kitty Summer, by the way. Kitty Summer, shout out to the girl, the dress, you know. I got a hoodie on today, guys. I will not be filming in the clothes anymore. I do apologize. This is the very first video. And I just said, fuck it. I got to record. Like, where's my camera? I got to get in there and do something. Like, but thank you for being so patient with me. I will not film in a hoodie again. And if I do, it's a good reason. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> yeah.